Hello, and welcome to Malaysian Horror Stories channel. Today, we will be sharing about one of the most disturbing creature, that is famous in Southeast Asian countries especially in Malaysia. The Penangal or Penangalan, is a nocturnal vampiric entity from Malay ghost myths. Its name comes from the word tangle, meaning to remove or take off, because its form is that of a floating disembodied woman's head, with its trailing organs still attached. Origins of Penangal In Malaysian folklore, Penangal are mortal women who practice black magic. To become a Penangal, a woman must meditate during a ritual bath in vinegar, with her whole body submerged except for the head. Only active in penangal form at night, the creature regularly soaks its organs in vinegar, to shrink them for easy entry back into her body. The penangal thus carries an odor of vinegar wherever she flies, and returns to her body during the daytime, passing as an ordinary woman. However, a penangal can always be told from an ordinary woman by the smell of vinegar. Modern urban legends offer alternative views of the penangal. This includes being the result of a curse, or the breaking of a demonic pact. One story, tells of a young woman who was taking a ritual bath in a tub that once held vinegar. While bathing herself and in a state of concentration or meditation, a man entered the room without warning and startled her. The woman was so shocked that she jerked her head up to look, moving so quickly, as to sever her head from her body her organs and entrails pulling out of the neck opening. Enraged by what the man had done, she flew after him, a vicious head trailing organs and dripping venom. Her empty body was left behind in the vat. Who are the victims of Penangalan? The Penangalan's victims, are traditionally pregnant women and young children. As traditional Malay dwellings were stilt houses, the penangal would hide under the stilts of the house, and use its long tongue to lap up the blood of the new mother. Those whose blood the penangalan feeds on, contracts a wasting disease that is almost inescapably fatal. Furthermore, even if the penangalan is not successful in her attempt to feed, anyone who is brushed by the dripping entrails, will suffer painful open sores that won't heal without a bomoa's help. Protection against Penangalan The most common protection against a Penangal attack, is to scatter the thorny leaves of any of the subspecies of a local plant, known as Menkuan, which has sharp thorny leaves, and would either trap or injure the exposed lungs, stomach and intestines of the Penangal as it flies in search of its prey. These thorns, on the vine, can also be looped around the windows of a house in order to snare the trailing organs. This is commonly done, when a woman has just given birth. The shards of glass glued to the top of the walls around a house, serve the same purpose, in addition to protecting against thieves. As an extra precaution, the pregnant woman can keep scissors or beetle nut cutters under her pillow, as the penangalan is afraid of these items. Once the penangal leaves its body and is safely away, it may be permanently destroyed by either pouring pieces of broken glass into the empty neck cavity, which will sever the internal organs of the penangal when it reattaches to the body, or by sanctifying the body and then destroying it by cremation or by somehow preventing the penangal from reattaching to its body by sunrise. Another non-lethal way to get rid of penangalan, is to turn over the body, so that when the head attached back, it will be attached reverse side, thereby revealing to everyone what she really is. The next time if you happen to come across a flying head at night, be very sure that it is a penangalan and you might not sure the survive the night. That is all from Malaysian Horror Stories.